Modern means of communication have made harassment even easier, with clients being bombarded with unwanted texts and emails, or subjected to upsetting online blogs and posts. Whether from someone you know or a complete stranger, this can be very distressing. So what should you do if you're being harassed? It's important to put down a marker. This means explaining as calmly and clearly as possible, preferably in writing, that their behaviour is unacceptable. It sounds obvious, but harassment can come from someone you might know well, a former partner for example, where you've simply become accustomed to the abuse. By putting down a marker, you're better placed to take action if the behaviour continues. If you receive harassing emails or text messages, you may be tempted to press delete. But this will destroy the proof you need to put an end to the abuse. Keep hold of all of the evidence and keep a diary of the harassment. Serious harassment is a criminal offence, so if you report it, the police should act. A visit from the police and a potential harassment warning from them can be an easy way of stopping any unlawful conduct. You may be reluctant to involve the police, especially if you're being harassed by a former loved one. A strongly worded letter can be enough to show your persecutor the error of their ways. But if that doesn't work, we can ask the civil court to assist by granting an injunction to prevent further harassment.